Hi, my name is Jim Fitzpatrick. Uh, we're here in Kilkenny, Killeen Hill at the South East Six Cylinder Tractor Club um, event. Uh, the feature of the day is the gathering of seven, eight, tens. Um, and this is my county 774. So I bought this tractor on Dundee about eight years ago. Um, <clears throat> it came up for sale down in Kerry. Um, it was formerly um, bought new by the ESB in 1981. They bought four of them on the same day. So this tractor on the day actually cost 35,000 pounds brand new in 1981. So it was fitted um, with a high up crane on the back and a 10 ton winch on the front. And its job was to do a, a ESB power line up around Kinnegad, that area. And they used those tractors for a couple of years and then they were left lying in the yard idle. So they eventually sold them off on the ESB auctions that you see regularly and that's where my tractor came from. Um, it was in really bad shape when I got it. Um, I didn't know anything about tractor restoration. I never had a tractor before. Um, so when I got it, um, it was a steep learning curve. So it took me five years to get the tractor to where we are today. And um, some of it very enjoyable and some of it a bit frustrating trying to source parts and that. So we've got bits and pieces in the UK and anywhere we could and advice from a lot of people that you'd actually make contact with at these events very easily. Everyone seems to be very helpful and friendly with advice and that. So it's a great place to start is to come to these events and you meet all the right people who know, have all the contacts. Um, all the cab was the biggest job on the tractor to do. All the wings were pure rotten, new roof skin, several, several welding jobs. I had to teach myself how to weld first. So um, yeah, we, we got there eventually. Some of the welding now for the experts wouldn't be particularly good, but it's, it's, it's still my best I could do at the time anyway. So it hasn't fallen apart yet. So when I got the tractor, I took the cab off it and took it all apart just down to the bare chassis. And um, all the work was with the cab, of course, and, and all new panels and welding up and that. Um, most of the glass was in the cab and that at the time, but uh, we had to buy some glass and it's very hard glass to source because it's, it's toughened glass and there's actually a green tint in it as well. So we eventually got that up in Clonmel or somewhere. So all the cab was put together on the ground and then lifted onto the tractor in one piece. Um, I did all the paintwork myself except for the bonnet and the nose cone and the uh, diesel tank, I got them professionally done. I, my work wouldn't be up to that kind of a standard. So um, the wheels and tires then were pretty straightforward work. Um, at one stage I had 10 different tires for the tractor and not one matching set so I sold all those off eventually and I bought a new set of tires over from the UK and uh, Philip Ireland fitted them for me here and did a really good job. Um, engine wise the tractor was pretty sound, brakes, um, steering and all that, just some um, hub seals and a few oil leaks, typical Ford stuff, um, pretty straightforward. Um, there was a major leak on the, oil, on the sump, an oil leak and that, so all the front axle had to come off to do that, so that was a bit of a pretty big job for me, but we got there anyway and we have what we have today and the tractor is not going to be polished up and left in the shed. Anything that's going, we try to bring it to it and, and show the tractor, that's what it's for. People seem to have a, um, a, a liking to the tractor, so it's nice to, nice to have it out and about. Yeah, so if anybody is thinking of buying a tractor to restore, be it a county or any make of a tractor, um, you know, don't be afraid to jump in there because you will get loads of help if you ask. Uh, and just come to events and you'll, you'll meet all the right people. And bit by bit, don't be looking at the end product or don't be looking at tractors that are done up, you know, 100%. You'll get there and just take your time and get the right advice and get the right parts and it'll all come together. So you'll see the end line then and you'll be saying it'll be well worthwhile, well worth the effort. And, you know, I wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, it didn't put me off anyway, thinking of buying another one. And finally, I'd like to say that um, if I do ever, um, get to go ahead from my financial advisor who's my wife, um, I might consider buying another one at some stage.